Yeah, as we focus in on brain death and the controversies surrounding it, I think it's important to be clear about what brain death is and what it isn't. And so we'll spend a couple of lessons here just talking about what it isn't. Brain death is notoriously misunderstood and notoriously mis, um, misdescribed in newspaper accounts and sometimes in movies and, and um, that sort of thing. And people get, can get a very easy, can very easily misunderstand what it means. Um, one of the reasons why it's hard to figure out what it means is you try to just sort of figure out from what you hear. It sounds like what it's saying is the brain is dead. So somebody's brain has died. So brain death is when your brain has died. People just automatically think that. Why wouldn't they think that? They haven't been told or explained to them that brain death is an attempt to articulate when death is happening. Okay, And if your brain has died, which doesn't make any sort of sense, I guess you might think it's some kind of serious brain injury. And so oftentimes I've seen newspaper reports, and this is something you can look for too, where they'll describe patients being declared brain dead, and then machines are turned off so that they can die. Um, that's confusing if, if people start to think that. That's, so death, brain death means something like you're close to death. You're almost dead. You're all but dead. I think some of, one of the articles that we read was sort of describing it this way. Why, why when these people are so close to death, or when they're brain death, why are we worrying about what we're doing with them? Okay, so it makes it some kind of a lethal diagnosis, or it's the fact that you've got a poor prognosis. So here we should be completely clear, and hopefully what we said in the previous video is making this, uh, explains this to you, uh, brain death is death. Okay, saying somebody is brain dead at least should be understood as that's just a way of saying they're dead. Okay, it doesn't mean anything else than that. Okay, and we shouldn't use it that way. Um, brains don't die. People die. Uh, maybe we should rewrite it to think that the person is dead according to the brain death criteria. This would show a little bit of sophistication because it would show that you understand what's going on. Brain death is not a serious brain injury. It's not a brain injury at all. Um, an, an injury is when something's been damaged, but the brain hasn't been damaged in brain death. The brain has ceased to function. It's not working. Okay. It's not a diagnosis in the typical sense, although it can be confusing because its declaration is done by a medical team. It requires medical personnel and technology to make determinations. So it really looks like what we're doing is we're giving some kind of a, of a very specialized look at the person and giving a diagnosis. Okay. Finally, it isn't clinical death. Uh, clinical death is not a technical term. Uh, clinical death usually means cessation of vital functions. It's an out-of-date definition of death. Actually, from the point of view of modern point of view, clinical death was never death. Okay, um, it was good enough. It functioned well enough for our needs back a hundred years ago, but no longer is that the case. Okay, I slipped out for a minute. Um, I wanted to just end with uh, pointing out an article. To you, written by Arthur Kaplan, a, one of uh, one of a bioethicist um, who's over at Penn State, who, where he was trying to argue it's time to stop using the term brain death in public, and he's responding to this problem that it's so misunderstood that everybody doesn't get what it means. So this is an interesting mnemonic: somebody telling somebody he's brain dead. So there's hope. He has no brain function, but he's not dead. He's dead. Oh. And I'll post this here so you can read it if you want, but he gives several examples of people making this mistake, okay? So somebody's saying, uh, somebody's not gone, she's brain dead, but physically she's still with us. She needs some time to heal. Um, another article saying a man dies after beating by Nashville security guard left him brain dead, which sounds like... Um, they're just in a bad state, but they're not really dead. Um, and then 11 month old Queens boy is on life support and on deck Texas are trying to piece together why the otherwise healthy infant is now brain dead. So you could be otherwise healthy and brain dead. So these are just confusions that are propagated just because people just don't understand what we're doing. Okay, now I don't know if we can go as far as 
uh, Art Kaplan here to say, well, let's just stop using the term. I don't know if we can actually have control over how people are going to do that or not. But it would be good to keep in mind, um, particularly after taking this class, what it means so that you can let people know uh, that brain death is dead. It's not, no, it's not a bad condition to be in, but it's death.